to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and today we're going to be taking a look at some John Mayer style tones using the Studio 10 6L6. The Studio 10 6L6 is a 1x12 combo, it's 10 watts of power and it's a single-ended Class A 6L6 amplifier. I'm pairing this amp with my early 1980s Tokai Strat and the amp is mic'd up with an Aston Origin condenser microphone. The majority of the John Mayer guitar tone comes from a combination of a Strat and a very clean high headroom 6L6 style amplifier. The great thing about the Studio 10 6L6 is that it really shows off your guitar's characteristics. So it's very responsive to how you play, what pickups you select, and where you set the volume and tone controls on the guitar. On the top of the amplifier, we only have a single tone control, so we can't do any in-depth EQ editing here, but we can get a little bit closer and get a little bit more tweaking using the guitar's tone controls, just like John would do himself. The first couple of tones we're gonna look at are gonna be clean tones. We've got the gain and the tone set to seven on the clean channel of the amplifier, and the reverb set to around four. You can dial in a bit more or a bit less reverb to taste. Like I said at the start of the video, the guitar and the way you set the guitar is very important to this John Mayer tone as well. The first tone we're gonna look at is from the song Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. For this, I've got the middle pickup selected. So that's the middle single coil on the Strat, I've got the volume on the Strat rolled back to eight. This just takes any fizz out of the top end and retains a nice warm bell-like tone. And I've got the tone knob for the middle pickup on the guitar rolled back to about six. If we then keep the amplifier settings exactly the same, and the settings on the guitar the same, but we flip to the neck pickup, we get a tone similar to that from the track Belief. And then once again, sticking with the same settings on the amp, and the same settings on the guitar, but now flipping to position four, which is the neck and the middle position on at the same time. This was a position on the Strat that John used a lot. We get a tone similar to that from the song Gravity. Okay, so the final John Mayer style tone we're gonna look at uses the overdrive channel of the amp. Flip over now to the overdrive channel, dial the gain back to about four, and dial the tone back to just above halfway. For this tone, I'm keeping the tone controls set the same on the guitar. I'm flipping to the neck pickup, but I'm now gonna keep the guitar's volume on full. This tone is based on the tone that John used in the John Mayer trio for the track, Who Did You Think I Was? <laughs> There you go, there are some John Mayer inspired tones using a Strat and the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6. These tones have been inspired by various tracks through John's career. Now remember, he did pair a lot of different pedals with his amplifiers. So if you're looking for a little bit more boost at the front end with the gain especially, try putting a tube screamer in front. John would always use a 6L6 style amp, which has got a distinctive mid scoop, and then he would add the mids back in with something like a tube screamer overdrive in the front end. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed these John Mayer inspired tones. Please let us know down below in the comments if there's any other artists you'd like to see us cover in this series. Don't forget to head over to the Blackstar YouTube channel where there's more videos just like this where we talk about all different artists and all other types of tones you can dial in with your Blackstar amps. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the country just waiting to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.